it's a good thing they had Moses. Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Uh, I say that, uh, that it's a good thing they had Moses because uh, we uh, read in the uh, in the book of Exodus, and I was uh, thinking about that as I was reading through that earlier this week. It is a good thing they had Moses. Uh, we, there, uh, as they are there at the mountain of God, at the, uh, the mountain of Sinai, uh, we're told that Moses was called by God up onto the mountain to receive the law. And uh, as he was gone, uh, the people uh, became uh, weary. In fact, they came to the point where uh, they turned their backs on their God. And uh, they took the jewelry that uh, God had uh, blessed them with in Egypt. Uh, they took that jewelry and they threw it in the fire and out popped a golden calf. Uh, it's interesting the way the wording is given. And uh, Aaron later on says uh, to Moses, uh, you know uh, what these people are like and uh, how they are uh, stubborn, stiff-necked. Uh, as uh, uh, the Lord uh, is speaking with Moses and knowing what uh, the Lord's people are doing uh, down at the bottom of the mountain. Uh, the Lord becomes uh, angry with his people as uh, and Moses witnesses that uh, as he is in communion with God there on the mountain. And that's why I think it's, uh, it's good for us to think of this term of uh, it's good that they had Moses. Because uh, the scripture tells us that uh, Moses, in, uh, in humility and uh, with uh, great reverence, uh, uh, turns to the Lord and uh, asks him to uh, reconsider uh, what he has planned for his people. It's an incredible uh, statement that's made there, and it's an incredible picture that's drawn for us of uh, Moses interceding for uh the stubborn people that he's leading. And so I say it's a good thing that they had Moses. And it teaches us a lesson, and I think uh, uh, myself personally have been learning this lesson again and again, uh, that lesson about uh, intercession, and that it is important for us, it is valuable for us. In fact, I think it is uh, crucial for us as uh, the followers of Jesus Christ to intercede for others. Sometimes uh, we are uh, the, the, the lone voice that's going to the Lord uh, on behalf of that person. And so it's uh, valuable for us, important for us to intercede uh, for other people, to uh, uh, take people to the throne of grace, to uh, in, uh, maybe even in Moses' uh, type of uh, uh, temperament and uh, uh, with uh, humility, uh, intercede to the Lord for uh, those that we see and know around us that uh, have need, and perhaps uh, even uh, we, those that we see around us that are uh, heading in the wrong direction, and uh, the people that around us that are in trouble. So uh, I encourage you today uh, to be like Moses, and uh, encourage us together to be ones who uh, intercede for those around us, and uh, what a privilege it is for us to uh, plead uh, for others to the God of the universe, knowing that uh, God hears and God answers and he does it all in his way and according to his plan. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to uh, be able to uh, intercede for others. So I encourage you today uh, to be doing that. And uh, I, I know uh, over the last uh, week or so, I've been praying for various ones specifically about uh, uh, this nationwide event that is uh, taking place. Uh, it's something that uh, certainly affects our community, and uh, I, uh, I will continue to intercede and encourage you to, to do the same uh, so that uh, uh, the right thing might be done and that uh, uh, tempers won't flare, but instead that uh, the, uh, the Lord will be honored in it all. Uh, so as we intercede, uh, may God uh, provide and give his, uh, his direction and his way in all things, including... Uh, uh, that which is uh, happening uh, throughout our nation at this time. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. May God bless you.